Hey guys, today we are going to be talking more about comparing real numbers. We're going to answer the question, how do I determine a value that makes an inequality true? So we're going to be looking at problems like this, where you find the value of x that would make that inequality true. So the first thing that you want to do to determine a value that makes an inequality true is first convert all of the numbers, including the answer choices, to decimals. Then we're going to look at the numbers in the inequality and can and compare them. And then we're going to analyze the answer choice decimals that you just converted to see which one would make the inequality true. And that will be your answer. So let's look at this first one. It says which value of x makes the inequality true. And we have 34% is less than x is less than 34. So I'm just trying to find this number x that is greater than 34%, but is also less than 3 fourths. And I have all these numbers, and I'm going to find the one that works in this inequality. So first thing I'm going to do is convert these numbers to decimals if they are not already. So 34% is the first one that I'm converting. Remember, you can just move the decimal back twice for percents, or you can divide them by 100 to get that decimal. And I get 0.34. And then 3 fourths is 0 0.75. If you don't remember that, you can use your calculator and do 3 divided by 4, and we get 0 0.75. Now I'm going to convert the answer choices to decimals as well. So the first one is 0 0.7 repeating. I'm just going to round that to the nearest hundredth. That would be 0 0.78. And then I'm going to do square root of 7 in the calculator, and I get 2.645. So to the nearest hundredths place would be 2.65. And then 0 0.3 repeating rounded to the nearest hundredths would be 0 0.33. And then 2 thirds, I'm going to do 2 divided by 3 in the calculator, and I get 0 0.67. Okay, so now let's go back to our inequality. I am looking for a number that is between 0.34 and 0.75. Well, this first answer choice of 0.78 is not going to work because that number is larger than 0.75. Same thing with 2.65, so square root of 7 will not work. 0 0.33, that is below the 34% or the 0.34, and it needs to be bigger than that. So answer choice C is not going to work either. 0.67 would lie perfectly between those two numbers, so that is going to be my answer. So two-thirds is the value of x that would make that inequality true. Okay, let's do the same thing on number two. It says, which value of x makes the inequality true? I have one ninth is less than x is less than the square root of 0 0.9. So I want to find a number in my answer choices that is bigger than one ninth, but also less than the square root of 0 0.9. First thing I'm going to do is convert those numbers to decimals. So one divided by nine is 0 0.1 repeating, rounded to the nearest hundredths would be 0 0.11. And then the square root of 0.9 is 0 0.948, so it would round to 0.95. And now I'm going to convert all of my answer choices to decimals as well, so I can figure out which one will lie in between those two decimals. So 9% as a decimal, I would move that back twice, or just do 9 divided by 100, and we get 0 0.09. 0.9 repeating rounded to the nearest hundredth would just round up to 1 because I'd have 0.99 and it would just keep rounding up. 4 fifths, I'm going to divide that in the calculator and I get 0 0.8. You can put a 0 on the end if you want to make it to the nearest hundredths place. And then 1 eleventh is 0 0.9 rounded to the nearest hundredths, 0 0.09 rounded to the nearest hundredths. Okay, now we're going to go through the answer choices and we are going to figure out which of these decimals lies between 0 0.11 and 0 0.95. So 0 0.09, that is too small. That is smaller than 0 0.11, so that is not going to work. 
and then one is larger than 0.95, so that is not going to work. 0 0.80 is bigger than 0.11, but also smaller than 0.95, so that one would work. Let's just double check the last answer, 0 0.09. That is gonna be too small, it's smaller than 0.11, so that would not work. So our answer is C. Okay, let's take a look at number three. It says, which value of X makes the inequality true? Select three correct answers. So the inequality looks slightly different this time, but it's still the same. We're still trying to figure out a number that makes that inequality true. And this time I am looking for a number that is greater than 29 over four. So let's convert 29 over four to a decimal first and we get 7.25. And now I'm gonna go through the answer choices and convert those to decimals as well. So negative eight, if I wanna round it to the nearest hundreds place, it would be negative 8.00. 30 divided by four is 7.5 or 7.50. 7.35%, you can move that decimal back twice, or you can do 7.35 divided by 100 in your calculator, and we get 0 0.0735, but I'm just gonna round it to the nearest hundredths at 0 0.07. 28 is just 28 or 28.00. Square root of 49 is seven, and the square root of 64 is eight. Okay, now I'm gonna go through and figure out which of these three answer choices is greater than 7.25. So I'm looking for numbers that are bigger than 7.25. Well, the first one I'm gonna throw out is the negative number because 7.25 is positive, so the negative number is not gonna be larger than that. 7.50 is larger than 7.25, so 30 over four could work. 0 0.07 is not larger than 7.25, so I'm gonna throw that out. 28 is larger than 7.25, so that could work. Seven is not larger than 7.25, so I'm gonna throw that out. And eight is larger than 7.25. So there are my three correct answers that are larger than 29 fourths. That would be 30 fourths, 28, and the square root of 64. Let's look at number four. It says, which value of X makes the inequality true? Select three correct answers. So it's similar to last time, but this time if you notice, I am looking for a number that is less than the negative square root of 81. So I'm gonna first convert the negative square root of 81, and that is negative nine. So I am looking for numbers that are smaller than negative nine, less than negative nine. And I'm gonna draw a little number line here to help remind us what would be smaller than negative nine. Remember, negative numbers are backwards. So anything that is closer to negative 10 that is going towards that direction is gonna be smaller than negative nine. Negative eight would be larger than negative nine because it's closer to zero. You could think of it as being less negative. So we are looking for numbers right here in this section to be smaller than negative nine. Let's first convert our answer choices two decimals to help us find those numbers. So negative 9.1 repeating, if I were to round that to the nearest hundredths, it would just be negative 9.11. Negative 9.5%, you can move the decimal back twice, or we can divide that by 100 in the calculator. And we get negative 0.095 or rounded to the nearest hundredths would be negative 0 0.1. Because the five would round to the nine up and then the nine would round, or and then that would round up to one. Okay, then negative one ninths, I'm going to divide that in the calculator to get the decimal. I get negative 0 0.1 repeating or negative 0 0.11. Negative 37 divided by four is negative 9.25. And then I have negative square root of 80 and I get negative 8.94. 
and the negative square root of 82, I get negative 9.055, so it would round to negative 9.06. Okay, so let's go through and figure out which of these would make this inequality true. Remember, I'm looking for numbers that are less than negative 9, so on this part of the number line. So negative 9.11 would be about right here on the number line. So that is smaller than negative nine. So that would work. Negative 9.5% or negative 0.1 would be really close to zero. That would be larger than negative nine. So that would not make this inequality true. Same thing with the negative one ninths or the negative 0.11. That's gonna be close to zero, larger than negative nine. So that's not gonna work. Negative 9.25 for negative 37 over four, that would be about right here on the number line. That is going to be smaller than negative nine, so that would work. Negative 8.94 would be close to negative nine, but it would be just larger than it, so that is not going to work. And then negative 9.06 would be just larger than negative nine. So that answer choice would work as well. So there are the three answers that would make that inequality true.